back with another video. In today's video, we're going to chrome delete the accent chrome here on the lower part of the bumper to match the grill. It's gonna be 3M 2080 gloss black. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I was in a small accident and had this bumper replaced, so it has the original factory chrome. We wanna get rid of that. I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna show a before and after comparison video at the end of this, so stick around and subscribe if you can. All right, to do this job, very simple. You just need your uh, razor knife, you need your squeegee, and I like to use a tucking tool. It's optional for the small spaces. Uh, obviously, we have some painter's tape here. You don't have to use it. I'm not gonna use it on this job. It goes in the trash. Okay, uh, got some extra 3M2080 gloss black vinyl wrap from uh, the grill that I wrapped, and these are the uh, leftover pieces, so I'm just gonna use it to do the bottom part of the grill. Very inexpensive tools. You're also gonna need some alcohol and preferably a microfiber towel or whatever towel you have to clean the surface that we're going to wrap today. And lastly, you're gonna need a heat gun. Uh, highly suggest that. You're gonna pretty much need that actually. A blow dryer would work, but a heat gun's the best way to go. Okay, so we start by applying some alcohol to the surfaces that we're going to wrap basically all the chrome that you see here all the way across the lower part of the bumper. Uh, make sure you get it pretty well, get into all the corners and all of the little um, cracks and crevices so the vinyl will adhere to the surface better. So we're using the 3M2080 vinyl wrap. So I measured out those strips as you saw on the table and uh, to match up with each section of this chrome on the grill. So you just peel off the backing part way, start tacking it down, and then roll it back as you go. I'm just using my finger. This is a pretty simple flat surface, and I'm just guiding my finger all the way back, making sure all the bubbles are out, uh, making sure there are no creases. Uh, just You want a smooth finish, just work it. You can pull it back if you have a bubble or whatever. You can work this stuff several times and then tack it back down. But this was pretty easy here. Um, the piece that you see above that, we're gonna do that later. That's gonna be a little more difficult. Uh, there are some curved surfaces, but this part's pretty easy. So once you get it down, what I like to do is take your razor knife, find your groove, and slowly, slowly, cut the excess off once it's tacked down. But there is a groove where actually the chrome meets the plastic on the bumper there, so I just run it down that groove. It's a pretty, it's like a little guide for you. So I pull that strip off. Now there's a plastic, like saran wrap almost, protective cover over this film. You wanna kinda of get that and pull that off of there. That's just to protect the vinyl when you're applying pressure to it, when you're using the uh, tucking tools or the, the squeegee, it just keeps it from getting scratched. So you just wanna cut your little edges. There's a break off point right there. That's where I'm stopping. And um, get that nice and cut smoothly, tucked in. Just just make it look like uh, there, there's that plastic piece that I'm talking about. It's like little saran wrap, pulled that off. So uh, yep, it's pretty much done. Now all we have to do is cut the bottom part here and we're pretty much done. Now, of course, we're gonna apply some heat to this to have it tack down a little better, especially where, you know, on the ends and on the top and bottom in the corners, you want it to adhere to that so it doesn't fail you later and start peeling back. So no matter what your level of experience is with vinyl wrap, this is really, really pretty easy. You just have to take your time. The, the whole job took like, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe, not, not, not quite an hour to do. But um, yeah, so you just add your heat and don't apply too much heat because you will notice that it will start to bunch up a little bit on you and you'll have to redo it. And to add, when applying the heat, you wanna use your squeegee or whatever to kinda help it along and tuck it in and secure the edges on the vinyl wrap. Okay, so we're on to the middle section here. This is the longer strip. Um, the vinyl's already cut. We're gonna wipe it down really, really well with the alcohol. It only takes a minute to dry, but just let it dry and then you're good to go. You just wanna make sure all the impurities and the oils and things are off of that. It can get kind of redundant here in the video, but basically I'm doing the same thing. I'm peeling the backing off somewhat, get it tacked down. Again, take your finger, run it along. I had to lift it a few times just to uh, 
you know, get out some bubbles and some creases, but uh, it's pretty easy. The longer the strip, the more difficult it is, but it's still, this is a simple, simple job. Um, just take your time, like I said. Just look closely, feel for any imperfections, and uh, there you go, get it tacked down. So the same process, repeat, repeat, repeat. And get familiar with your squeegee. I mean, this thing has saved me many times on these small vinyl jobs that I've done on my personal vehicle. So again, I'm no professional here at all. I learned on my own. I learned from YouTube. Um, for a couple years now, I've been playing with vinyl and you know, I get by, I do okay. That's why I'm showing you this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And trust me, I'm not just saying that, it is true. I'm not good with the little details of things. I'm kind of a mechanical minded, uh, you know, knuckle busting type person, uh, you know, nuts and bolts. So this is uh, an area that I have to really concentrate on. Like my dad is the artist in the family and he has a really good hand for small detail and sometimes I'll bring him in on things, but you know, I just have to go a little bit slower. And uh, again, with this vinyl, if you mess it up, it's not that expensive. Just peel the strip off and do it again. You see how long it takes here. I mean, I'm speeding it up a little bit just for, for the video, but really you can't mess this up. I mean, I guess you could, but it's so easy to just peel it off and do it again. And when I first started, I had to do that a few times and still to this day, I do that if I don't take my time, but anybody can do it. So as I go through this process of getting all the chrome deleted to match the grill that I did up there, if you see, it's going to really blend this car in in the front. Uh, I recently tinted the headlights and it's really gonna look pretty nasty. I'm gonna like it. And uh, so I've been wanting to do this for a while now since I got the new bumper and finally I have the time to do it. It's a very nice day. It's not too hot outside. So I'm speeding this up a little bit just so you can kind of see me do it and the completion of this. Um, I'll go through a few more details, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, a comparison as well. So it's just, it totally changes the look. And what's nice about this is with the gloss black and the flat black plastic in the background there, it's a good contrast. I mean, it's really, really nice. So uh, it does have a nice shine to it from a distance. And um, so we're gonna show you that at the end of the video. These larger pieces that we're gonna do that I said was a little more difficult, you just wanna get up some overlap with your sheet, okay? I kind of went overboard here and cut a big square out, but you just wanna flatten it down to the surface and feel your way along, peel it back up, peel it, put it back down until you get it the way you want it. This stuff is really easy to work with. So I lost most of the footage to this part of the video, but anyway, it works the same way as the other part of the trim. Just heat it up, trim it up, heat it up, do all of that. But hey, we're gonna take a look at the results now. And if you would consider subscribing, smash that subscribe button, hit the like and the bell, that would be awesome. But there it is, guys, it looks freaking great. And you can see there's kind of a shine to it. That's just the gloss black and it matches the grill perfectly. Same exact wrap, 3M2080 gloss black. There's the side-by-side -side comparison. Check it out, man. I'm very pleased. It brought it all together. That chrome just did not work. It just threw it off balance. It looked like it didn't belong. But now the car is together. It looks like it should look. It's great. Thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe.